Hey Dabbles, I hope this video finds you and your families safe and healthy. So today I'm super excited to tell you about one of my favorite places to hike on the regular in Los Angeles and that is Griffith Park. All these videos are taken pre-COVID so keep that in mind as you're watching and I'm not sure what is open and available right now but you know at least you know that it exists there and you can check it out for yourself so i know i know everybody talks about runyon and of course runyon has a lot of really cool things and a lot of people like going there because you can have celebrity sightings and there's definitely a lot of cool things to do there too and i'll make a video on that someday as well but today i want to share with you the park that i go to when i'm in la on a regular basis and it's one of my absolute favorite parks um and i'm going to share with you why so the thing about griffith is there is a ton of trails i mean Tons. Uh, I haven't even explored all of them. There's that many. But a lot of them have, you know, main trails with like little offshoot trails that go off of it. And there's just so much to see and do there. If you were visiting, you could literally spend like a week just exploring all the different trails. There's so many different viewpoints and, and, and different amenities. And it's just a really, really cool park. So you have different viewpoints of the city. You can see the valley. You can see downtown. You can see sometimes the ocean if there's not smog and, and fog <laughs> in the air. But it is absolutely just a beautiful park with so many different areas. One of my favorite places to hike in Griffith Park, the one that I did on a regular basis, is the one that started in Ferndale. Now there's so many different things that, you know, are here and there's tons of different trailheads, but the one that I like to actually do is through this beautiful Ferndale Park. You know, I lived most of my life in Georgia and I'm used to greenery and shrubbery and foliage and I love, I needed that. But living in Los Angeles, there's just not a lot of that because of course it's like a desert. So um, one of the places I love to hike on a regular basis was starting at Ferndale Road. Now let me tell you, this was my favorite hike. I mean, not only did I do it on a regular basis, but it's also where I would take all my friends and family when they visited because it's got a little bit of a lot to do and see. So I typically would start at the bottom. There's a park at the bottom that you can start at. You see people picnicking there all the time. There's like green grass and different little picnic areas. But if you go to the left in this fenced in area, there is this huge section of greenery. There's all sorts of foliage. There's a running little water area. Um, all these absolutely beautiful waterfalls and I just love going through this and it was such a great way to start a hike especially when you're gonna go and you know LA is fairly hot most of the year so um, starting in this like shaded green area just was a great way to start my hike when you're there there's all sorts of little different areas that you can sit off at of course you know you can see people just kind of you know, hanging out or reading a book, you know, on these different benches, but there's also all these beautiful little tiny waterfalls that are just so serene to listen to. There's also these little pools, and in the pools, if you look closely, you'll see like little tiny fish and little crabs, and it's just really fun. If you've got kids, it's really fun to take them there and kind of explore. And if you keep going straight, uh, you'll eventually come out of that green area, and it will take you to this playground area where, of course, again, if you have kids, this is really fun to bring the kids. There's not only a big playground, but there's also a bunch of pictures picnic areas and, and things that you can do um, behind there. And there's also a little cafe that's to the left that you can buy little food and snacks and you know coffee and stuff like that. So really, really fun. You know, you see people there all the time and that is just the start of your trail. So once you go past the playground, there's actually a fork where you can go left or you can go right. So I'm gonna just tell you a little bit about the two different trails. So if you go to the left, to me, it's a little bit easier. It's a little longer, but it's zigzag. So it's a little bit more flat and not as steep as the right side. Uh, so if you're new to hiking or if you wanna take it easy, uh, I highly recommend going on the left side where you'll kind of zigzag to the top. As you go up on the right side, it's, it's a little bit steeper and the cool thing is is that you see Griffith right there all the way on the top so you can kind of see your end goal and of course there's trails even after that which I'll tell you about in a little bit um, but both the left and the right trails will actually merge at the top. Alright so when you keep going up then once once you get to that merge point you're gonna go up a steep hill so no matter which way you went you'll still kind of hit the steep area but it is well worth it. There's multiple things that you're gonna see so as you go up the steep hill there is actually a gorgeous view viewpoint that you can see 360 views of LA. There's a gorgeous view of downtown. You can kind of see, you know, the, the west side and you can see sometimes again the ocean depending on how clear the day is, but it is absolutely beautiful. I've taken some really epic photos here. When people come to visit, this is one of their favorite places to take photos. Um, and you're not far from the top, which has the best part of this hike. So as you continue up, you will see all sorts of things. There is all sorts of wildlife if you pay attention. As you can see, there's these beautiful woodpeckers. There's one, 
or three. <laughs> Lots of really pretty things to see and, and enjoy as you go up. Once you reach the top, you will actually reach Griffith Observatory, which is really, really fun. So the, one of the reasons I love this hike so much, especially when people are coming to visit, is not only do you have these phenomenal views of the city and the Hollywood sign, you also have this big green area and you get to explore the museum, which is free. There's definitely paid parts to the museum, but you can explore a good majority of it for free. And I love, that's one of the things that I love about LA is that they have so many free things to do with paid options. So if you're into it, you can go inside the observatory. I didn't go in there, but you know, there's all sorts of really cool things to see and do. I highly recommend if you do go inside, make sure to go to the basement area because that is my favorite part of the entire museum. It's got all these different planets that are like two size, you know, showing the actual size in comparison. You can see what your weight is on the different planets. They've got this, it's just absolutely beautiful down there. They've got an echo chamber where you can kind of stand in this spot and it kind of echoes through. It's, it's really, really cool. So, so on this level, there's so many different areas of beautiful views of Los Angeles. If you go to this deck area, you can see a great view of the Hollywood sign and you can actually go around the building and walk on the side of the building as you can see here. All right, so my second favorite trail there is on the other side of the mountain, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that, but before I do that, I'm going to tell you on my drive there, I would take the 134, get off Forest Lawn Drive, and go through the uh, entrance that way. You'll see some palm trees, it's like right there off the entrance, and it is so pretty. Um, but when you drive in, you will actually come to this museum. So if you have kids, or if you are trying to have an event, or you just wanna do something new, there's actually a train depot museum that is right there when you go straight, if you were to go straight into it you'll see the signs and they have all these old school trains that used to be in circuit you know going through and um, it's really cool you can see these like really old school trains and take really cool photos it's really fun for the kids there's a museum and all sorts of different kinds of trains there you can actually walk in on them you know sit in the little areas and act like a conductor <laughs> um, the kids absolutely absolutely love it and the really cool thing about this area is that you can actually rent a cart so you can have different events there as you can see there's a birthday party that was happening on the day that I was there and it's just a really cool way to have a new space if you have like a birthday party or some sort of event um, definitely check it out and when you leave the train depot to go to the trail that I like you're gonna take a left you're basically gonna go towards Crystal Springs Drive now there's tons of different entrances and different things to do here as well there is the merry-go-round which is really really fun as you're driving towards Crystal Springs there's a ton of different you know parks and picnic areas and trailheads um, there's you'll see horses so be really careful as you're driving there's horses that are literally crossing the road the equestrian center is not far away at all so um, you'll always see people going on those trails and essentially you'll come down and there's an area that you can park by the merry-go-round there's also the old LA Zoo so you can park um, towards the Crystal Springs and you'll see all that stuff is like right around there um, but there's an area that has this really cool merry-go-round it's like super old and like vintage looking and it's right there in the middle of the park it's so fun it's only a couple bucks to ride so if you've got kids or if you're into it, like definitely it's something fun to try. This is an area pre-COVID. Again, I don't know what they're doing post-COVID. There used to be tons of Shakespeare in the park, you know, right here and all sorts of different events and activities because it's just a big green space and there's playgrounds and um, there's actually a playground there that is one of the coolest playgrounds that I've ever seen. They've got all sorts of different fun things and um, I had taken video of it. I have no idea what happened to those clips, but uh, there is a really cool playground there as well. And the cool thing about this hike is there's multiple trails and one of the trails is really great if you're into photography or if you just want to take some really cool shots and see some really cool things that you can go towards the lower and upper uh, zoo trail and you'll actually see all the old cages of all the different animals that used to be the old LA Zoo. It is now shifted to a different area not far from this location but this is like the one from I believe either the 40s or the 60s. <sighs> Can't remember and it's just really fun to run through there's a lot of really cool spots for photography and um, it's just really cool to see so you know I highly recommend it here's some like images that you can see of what is there now those trails do go to this one that is my second favorite trail in all of Griffith which is basically if you park near the merry-go-round you're gonna go up to towards the Joe class and I may not be saying this correctly, but the Joe Class Water Stop. If you go that way, it's gonna take you um, to the trail that I'm talking about. But the reason this is my second favorite trail is that if you live in Los Angeles, you know that there's just always a ton of people. You know, the trails a lot of times are just so overcrowded and 
I don't know, sometimes that would just get to me, especially because I, you know, again, lived in Georgia for most of my life. And so sometimes I just want space and I want to be alone and I just want to be free. And on top of that, this side of the trail is a lot more shaded. There's a lot more shaded parts. So in really, when it's really hot, it was really hard for me to hike. And it really was really nice to have this shaded area. Now, as you go up, it kind of is on the side of the mountain, but there are other trails that kind of are off of it that take you to the area, the viewpoint, the Vista viewpoint that I, I'm talking about and is going to be the end goal. Um, but essentially as you go up you can choose your path up there um, you can take the main one at least for the first time so you can find your way up there but again there's a lot of little offshoots that you can take and, and at some point I do recommend you going on those because those are the ones that are very green and again very private and just oh, just so beautiful so as you make your way up you will get to if you take the main trail you will get up to the Joe class water stop which kind of looks like this and I've never actually drink in from the water fountain but there is a water fountain there and there is a little tiny park um, and then you'll kind of see this road area and that is the way that you want to go you'll see a little sign that says you know Vista viewpoint this way and you're not far once you get to this point uh, but you'll see this road and essentially it's a fork you can go left or right you want to go right going upwards and you'll see it's got beautiful views right here there's you know trees there's this actually this water plant that is going to be on your right um, but there's a beautiful view of the city you're kind of getting a tease of what you're about to see um, and you go up not very far you, you know following the road it's a, a cement pathway um, and essentially it brings you to this viewpoint that is basically it looks like a what probably was like a parking lot in the 60s where it was probably make up point <laughs> and I don't quote me I don't know if that's true but that's what I always like thought about when I'd go up there but it is a really beautiful viewpoint at different times of the day you've got viewpoints of downtown you've got viewpoints of the Griffith Observatory you and if you're lucky if it's a clear day without the smog and the fog you can see the ocean which is really pretty as well but um, beautiful 360 views and there's actually you can continue going on there's a bunch of really cool trails off of here as well um, but you know Know, this is the end all be all that I'm going to talk about today. Again, I, I highly encourage you go and just explore all the different trails because they all have different views and they all got these different little just nooks and crannies and, and amenities and it's just it's really fun to explore this park. You can go up there for sunset. Highly recommend it. It is gorgeous for sunset. I mean beautiful beautiful again 360 views with bold colors um, The only thing with going at sunset is when you're going down a lot of times it gets dark very fast So you were kind of hiking in the dark and that is kind of a little creepy <laughs> But it is uh, one of my favorite hikes and again I the difference between this one and that one the other one is really fun when you have tourists because you actually go to the observatory and there's a lot of things to do there. This one's really cool because it's got these beautiful 360 views um, and it's shaded. It's not fully shaded, but because of the way the mountain is and you're kind of in the valley, the mountain actually creates a lot of shade on the trail. So it's a lot cooler for, and there's a lot less people. And so anyways, so this is Griffith Park. It's one of my favorite places to hike in LA um, in the vicinity of that area. And I wanted to share it with you guys. So hopefully you guys get to check that out soon and please subscribe for more. I'm, you know, taping different places that I go. I've actually got a Ton of content it's just a matter of sitting down and you know editing in them and, and all of that I'm gonna continue to bring content for you so please subscribe press the subscribe button right now and stay tuned I appreciate it see you guys bye devils